Here in politically deep blue Northern California, a pale blue assault rifle. It looks like Tiffany blue. It is Tiffany blue. This is an AR-15. Meet the Liberal Gun Club. Yes, you heard me right. Liberal Gun Club. I'm Lara. I'm a liberal. I voted for Hillary Clinton, but I'm a strong Second Amendment supporter. Lara Smith, a lawyer, is president of the California chapter. She was anti-gun, started shooting only four years ago after giving it a try, after researching the issue, after too many arguments with her gun-loving former Marine husband, Ed. She's a convert. My name is Shamir Furman. I am a huge supporter of gun rights. And I also was a supporter of Bernie Sanders as well. She's a veterinarian nurse, a new member. Lara Smith is her instructor. I'm going to touch your shoulders. We're all truly died in, you know, died in the wolf, you know, liberals. We believe in universal health care. Do you see your views as compatible? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I see everybody else's views as inconsistent. I mean, to me, abortion and gun rights are the flip side of the same issue. They're rubbing shoulders on the range with a generally conservative crowd. Some places the reaction is. The Liberal Gun Club, what's that? That's great. Some places it's like, are you one of those libtards? This is the front door at uh, Dragon Man's. And the people enter the uh, gun store right here. This is Dragon Arms. Other end of the spectrum? Machine guns, submachine guns, suppressors, silencers, grenade launchers, mortars. My colleague Michael Koenig's just visited this guy over in Colorado in the wake of the Vegas shooting. My name is Mel Bernstein, and they call me the most armed man in America. A less liberal Second Amendment advocate and gun store owner. We've been selling more guns in the last three weeks than we did in the last eight months. He stocks handguns. Smith & Wesson 22, semi-automatic. Flamethrowers. Assault rifles. This is the same type of gun that was used in Vegas. We're driving up my property now, and uh, there's all kinds of warning signs, as you can see. If anybody comes on your property and threatens you with bodily harm, it's legal to shoot them. Colorado law. They should have that nationwide. Dragon Man gives maybe a taste of what the Liberal Gun Club faces from some fellow enthusiasts. This is one of the first signs they see when they drive up Dragon Man Drive. The Liberal Gun Club was founded in 2008. We put a different face on this, and that's where my, that's where this club's value is. They hold conventions, advise politicians, stage so-called meet-in-the-middle events, educate and train. The Liberal Gun Club says it now has 7,500 members nationwide. They agree with their more right-wing brothers and sisters in arms on some points. The government says, hey, we're going to change this, so everybody has to give up their guns. What else is going to be next? But there are twists. Especially under this administration, I don't want to give up any of my constitutional rights. I have an issue and trust, trust issues in general with law enforcement. Now you're telling me that what little slim chance of, of protection I have is now gone and is given to people that I don't trust at all. How is that fair? They claim membership is up 70% since President Trump was elected. So, 7,500 members, the NRA has a reported 5 million. But according to the Liberal Gun Club, the NRA does not speak for all. Only a reported 19% of gun owners in America are actually NRA members. And there's this. According to Pew of Republicans and right-leaning independents, 44% own guns. Among Democrats or left-leaning independents, it's just 20%. But it's not zero. I think a lot more people have guns that are liberal here than we know about. Face-to-face -face and online, after every mass shooting, Vegas, Sutherland Springs, there seems to be no real reasoned gun debate, just deepening division. OK, so how would these gun-toting lefties counter mass shootings? The only suggestions we're getting are, out of my cold, dead hands, we're doing nothing, or ban this kind of gun. Those aren't solutions. And the mass shooters? I'd love to see us not putting their faces and names all over the news. Me too. News. How about... Mm -hmm nationwide federal background checks totally good with the background checks a key area where they differ from the nra and dragon man that self-proclaimed most armed man in america you could be good 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 and then all of a sudden you get a brain tumor uh they're not going to find that out right away outlawing yeah. any semi-automatic weapon never going to happen good luck
But bans have worked elsewhere. Semi-automatic weapons banned in Australia after a mass shooting. There haven't been any since. We heard these gunshots in the gym. And after a school shooting in Scotland in 1996, Britain banned most handguns. Since then, no mass shootings. Scotland isn't the US. Scotland didn't start. It doesn't have that whole internal mythos of the Colt and the Winchester and the Wild West and guns. Guns are so ingrained guns in the American so, psyche. Guns are so great in the Scottish psyche. I grew up with seven guns in my house. I got, owned my first gun when I was seven years old. I hear what you're saying, yeah. but it's not unique to this country. It's not, but it is different here in a lot of ways. 555 people have died in mass shootings in America so far this year, according to Mass Shooting Tracker. Everybody wants this to stop. Everybody wants to stop these mass shootings, yes. right? I think we just disagree on what's going to do it. it. Right. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in the Bay Area, Northern California. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.